Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps your bank information private when shopping online. Get $5 right now to try the service at PluckHitsLive.com slash privacy. Hi, Danielle here at Plug Hits Live. We're at CES 2019 at the Scheffler Bio Hybrid booth. Can you please introduce yourself for me? Hello, my name is Alexander Schaub. I work for Scheffler Bio Hybrid as a team leader digitalization. Um, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what's behind us and the technology you guys are improving? Well, that's the close to serious design model of the biohybrid. It qu fully qualifies as an electric bicycle uh, because it's human powered and battery driven. So um, that's why the name is biohybrid. All right, so let's go into some of the details of this vehicle. Yes, um, as mentioned before, uh, you can pedal to uh, control the velocity of this vehicle. And um, since it's qualified as a bicycle, you can drive it on bike lanes, you can uh, drive it without a driver's license. So we try to get the best of both worlds. So we are in between an electric bike and an electric vehicle and um, yeah, trying to get the best of both worlds, like the no driver license, you can drive it everywhere, you can drive it in the park if bikes are permitted. But we also have a weather protection, for example, as you see here. So um, we think that's a very good solution for micromobility and a future urban, yeah, urbanization. That's great. And what would be the pros to this kind of design, like uh, for this usage? For the usage? Um, what, by what do you mean by the usage? What would be the pros to the technology inside versus a regular bike? Our, uh, versus a regular bike, of course, as mentioned before, we have the weather protection. We have much more storage space, so this one is the personal variant. It's a two-seater, but you also have some storage space. You can put your groceries there. Yeah. Let's talk about the battery and uh, charging and using it and all of that. Okay, great. Um, well, the human power is used to move the vehicle but we also have a battery. There you can charge it either yeah, well, by pedaling but, or recuperation, so regenerative braking. But uh, usually it's meant to be that uh, you, you can uh, yeah, pull the battery out of the slot. We have two battery slots there for a double range and uh, take it with you, uh, put it on the kitchen table and charge it like your smartphone. Yeah. Okay. So I can either pedal this bike or how does the uh, battery work on the hybrid side? Yeah, you pedal, but you can um, adjust the support level from the electric drive. So if you want to work out, you de decrease it a bit and then you have to work a bit harder, burn some calories if you want to. But if you don't, like fee uh, if you don't feel like working out, you can increase the electric support level and then it's really easy going, the pedaling, it's like pedaling in the air. And um, yeah, you just smoothly move. <laughs> All right, so this one behind us is a consumer product. What is the other product you have? Well, we have two variants of the biohybrid. We have a B2, um, and both variants are for B2C and B2B uh, use cases. Um, this is the two-seater called the passenger, but we also have a pickup version right there um, for also consumers, but uh, mainly B2B delivery businesses, for example. All right, and how would that help a business side? Well, um, as mentioned before, you can enter now city centers on bike lanes, which is a huge advantage, especially in Europe, because um, yeah, cities are trying more and more to get uh, cars out of the city centers. Yeah. Great. Now, let's talk about the connectivity. I, did I hear something about that? Yeah, exactly. As a yeah, urban mobility concept, the, or solution, the uh, Scheffler Biohybrid is fully connected via Wi-Fi, 4G, later 5G, uh, and uh, of course Bluetooth, GPS, so all you know from your smartphone. We, and we also have um, a smartphone app to control the Biohybrid. You can unlock it, so it's like keyless go via this app. You always see the charging status and the vehicle location. Uh, okay, well, we are standing right now next to it, but if you are at your desk and it's parked somewhere, you will always find it. Um, you can adjust some vehicle uh, settings, 
like for example here, uh, the seat position, uh, position could be adjusted and set via the mobile phone but also the navigation. So uh, in a conventional vehicle, it's sometimes very bulky, cumbersome to um, set the target location. But here we do it via the smartphone and then it will be sent directly to the display in the vehicle. Um, and additionally, as, uh, as mentioned, you can use the BioHybrid to work out. You can set up some fitness goals for the week. And here, in a, via the app, you have then the statistics about your workouts, if you reached your fitness goal, and so on. So it really blends into uh, a modern, urban, connected uh, environment. And moreover, we don't uh, only have the smartphone app, but also the smart uh, watch, because uh, this is becoming more and more popular uh, nowadays. And you can also uh, unlock the vehicle, see the vehicle's position, all with your smartphone, uh, smartphone and watch. So it's all on the go. Exactly. <laughs> and when when do you expect to see this technology out on the market? Well, those are close to serious designs. Uh, we are planning to uh, start the pro a serious production next year then. Okay. Yeah. So 2020? Exactly. Right, perfect. And where can our viewers go to find out more information about these products? Yeah, please visit us on uh, biohybrid.com. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me today. It was great, uh, great uh, talking to you. For continuing CES 2019 coverage, stay tuned to PluckitsLive.com slash CES.